Welcome to Fantastic Vision. Please subscribe us before you watch today's video. If you always watch our channel, you may know that the news of the US ban on Chinese semiconductor industry. Since the birth of Huawei's 5G technology, Kirin chip, and Harmony OS system, the United States' invincible myth in the field of technology has been broken. It can only use the advantages of the supply chain to intervene in the market, constantly upgrade chip rules, and try to make Huawei compromise. Delay the continuous upgrading of cutting-edge technology. Throughout the whole process, Huawei chose to confront directly, which also tore off the mask of hypocrisy in the United States. Encouraged by Huawei, more and more Chinese companies dare to challenge the status of American companies, and a series of independent industrial systems have gradually taken shape, which has been hailed as the second Huawei by Chinese netizens. Enterprises such as Unisoc and Ali have made major breakthroughs in the chip field one after another, and the mass production process has been upgraded to the 6 nanometers level. However, with the confirmation of the domestic 4 nanometers chip, it is expected to achieve mass production by the end of the year. It seems worthy of the second place. A company with the title of Huawei will be officially confirmed. China has broken through domestically produced 4 nanometers chips. The birth of Huawei's 5 nanometers Kirin chip has magnified the hidden dangers of the entire U.S. semiconductor industry. It is highly dependent on TSMC's foundry, and the United States has fallen into a passive state. It began to regret not spending energy to match the manufacturing process, and then took advantage of industrial advantages. To change the status quo, use all kinds of means to invite overseas manufacturing companies to build factories. After the second largest customer, Huawei, was cut off, TSMC's back road was also cut off. In order to grasp the orders of American customers, it could only agree to go to the United States to build 5 nanometers production capacity. Re-establishing a short-term advantage, TSMC once again compromised the construction of the 3 nanometers factory. On the surface, it seems that TSMC has lost its fighting spirit, but in fact, it has left a hand behind it. The expansion of 3 nanometers production capacity has already given the United States what it wants but it will have to wait until mass production in 2026. So at least it can be guaranteed in the next three years. Here, there will be no excessive intervention in the market process, regardless of the chip rules, to expand Nanjing's 28 nanometers production capacity, indicating that the ultimate goal is still the Chinese market. Obviously, if TSMC can return, it will definitely be a big boost for Chinese companies. Recently, the second largest Huawei has surfaced. According to domestic technology media reports, OPPO has developed its own AP processor for mobile phone applications. It adopts TSMC's 4 nanometers process and will be equipped with MediaTek's 5G baseband. Realizing 5G access through an external 5G baseband is nothing new nowadays. Apple's A-series chips are equipped with a Qualcomm 5G baseband to achieve 5G communication, and Qualcomm needs to rely on Huawei's 5G patents, which is equivalent to Apple's indirect with Huawei's technology. Every time a mobile phone is sold, a corresponding technology patent fee needs to be paid. 
OPPO's capabilities in the chip field have been demonstrated as early as 2019. Since the announcement of the Mariana project, it has launched independent research and development of chips at full speed. In the following two years, it has successively launched the Mariana X imaging chip, power management, and other chips have been successfully realized the domestic replacement plan. In December 2022, OPPO officially signed a patent cross-licensing plan, including 5G patents with Huawei, absorbed veteran employees from Huawei and Unisoc, and formed a research and development team of nearly a thousand people. 10 billion, thus establishing the title of becoming the second Huawei. What can chip self-research bring? Before and after Huawei has self-developed chips, there are two completely different states. Huawei's previous mobile phone business was highly dependent on Qualcomm chips and Google's Android system. After the interruption, after the Qualcomm chip supply was cut off, everything was brought back to its original shape. After the birth of the self-developed Kirin chip, coupled with top-notch 5G technology, Huawei mobile phones ushered in the pinnacle. The self-development based on core technology laid a solid foundation for the birth of the subsequent Harmony OS system. Everything returned to reality. At present, the only Chinese company that the United States is afraid of is Huawei, so it does not pay too much attention to the actual development of other companies. If OPPO can seize this opportunity and develop a mobile phone processor comparable to the Kirin chip in one fell swoop, it will definitely become a mobile phone processor in the future. The leader of domestic mobile phones. Huawei's Harmony OS system has been open source for two years, and it has also received support from many domestic companies, but no mobile phone manufacturer is willing to adopt it. The reason is not because they don't want to but because they dare not. For the core technology, if the two technologies cannot be self-managed at the same time, it is destined to repeat the mistakes of Huawei. At present, OPPO is not troubled by relevant restrictions, and its cooperation with TSMC is temporarily unrestricted. In 2021, OPPO applied for 6,789 technical patents and in 2022, it will be 5,765. It also ranks second, second only to Huawei. The increasing investment in scientific research is the key to the success of a company. Obviously, OPPO already has all the conditions. Once the self-developed 4 nanometers chip is officially mass-produced, its status will further rise. Thank you for your watching. What do you think of this?